Wonder if the Bible has anything to say about cremation. Is this something Christians can do with their loved ones? Let's see what the scriptures say. Many people have questions concerning cremation, most of all with regard to what the Bible teaches. Although there is not any clear teaching regarding cremation in the Bible, we can look at various passages and principles that offer us some insights. Burial was the normal means of disposing of the dead in biblical times. Thus, we read that Abraham purchased a cave to bury his wife Sarah, Genesis 23, 19, and later he himself was buried there. Jacob also was buried in a cave. Joseph's body was embalmed and put into a coffin in Egypt and buried. A few cases of bodies being burned in the Bible. One example would be the story of Saul and his sons. Their bodies were burned to prevent further desecration by the enemy 1 Samuel 31 12. But this act wasn't something condoned or commanded by God. It was more about the circumstances of the time. The Bible thus shows respect and honor for the body even in death. An example is that Joseph had the Israel Israelites swear an oath to carry his bones out of Egypt and bury them in the Promised Land, Exodus 13, 19. This example indicates respect for the final resting place of the body. Although cremation is not explicitly forbidden in the Bible, many Christians prefer burial as an expression of hope in the resurrection. Burial treats with reverence the body God created and one day will again raise. 1 Corinthians 15 44 describes the resurrection of the body using the analogy of the seed that is buried. How a loved one's remains are to be treated is a personal decision. Some Christians find comfort in cremation, trusting that God can resurrect a body no matter its form or what is done to it after death. Isn't the promise of resurrection dependent not on what shape our remains take, but on God's power and promise? As much as it majorly describes burial, the Bible does not explicitly condemn cremation.